Is Texas a no-fault divorce state? Yes, that is an option. The thing is, just because it could be a no-fault divorce does not mean it has to be a no-fault divorce. Here's what I mean. In Texas, you can, when you file your initial paperwork with the court, that's called a petition. In your petition, you do have to list the grounds for divorce. And the no-fault reason that we use is on the grounds of insupportability. Whenever I say it, I feel like I should like have an English cup of tea or something. You're like, grounds of insupportability, thank you. And what that really means is like that irreconcilable differences thing you see on movies, that's the, the gist, right? Like we just don't get along, all right? That's law speak for we ain't getting along. We're fighting too much, okay? Now, you can also file for fault grounds in Texas. And you may wanna consider doing that in a few limited circumstances. The number one one you've heard of and why you may be watching this video is on the grounds of infidelity. That means cheating on each other. All right. And technically in Texas, if you if the court finds that there was fault in the breakup of the marriage, the court can technically give you more money in the divorce. If your attorney pleads for what's called a disproportionate share, meaning more of the money, then you can get it if the court finds that you were at fault.